Hi everyone, welcome to another one of my videos. So today we're going to be talking about uh, digital flow meters. Now, I have seen some ones in the past post on Facebook that have been quite inaccurate. So I think it was the Gardena, um, General Garden water flow meters. Um, and obviously when we've got trickle in, trickle out, the water flow is so slow that sometimes it's, it's hard for the meters to actually register a reading. So I've been on the VIA website, uh, which I'll post a link on the comments, and I've managed to obtain one of these. So this is a DigiFlow uh, water flow meter. Runs off batteries, which is good, so just two AA batteries. And this one, uh, spec-wise, is capable of doing between 0 0.04 of a litre up to one litre a minute. Now, currently, my pond is roughly 12,000 litres, 2,500 gallons-ish, um, and I change around about 30, 35% of the water per week when I'm feeding heavy. Um, I might reduce this during the winter. I'll keep an eye on my parameters and see how it's going. Um, so this one suits me perfectly. So I've worked out to get that sort of um, trickle in, trickle out, 30, 35%. I'm looking at around about 0 0.3, 0 0.35 of a litre. So that is, just refer back to that, that falls well within this uh, water meter spec. So what I've done is I've bought one for my QT in the garage, which this is going to go on now. And I've also got one run on my pond at the minute. So I'm going to take you out shortly and show you how that's set up um, and what sort of readings I'm getting. Because up to now it's been quite positive. The only other thing um, which you'll need uh, for this unit is, you can see there, there is a specific way the water's got to flow. Um, it does here up here. So I would imagine that it's meant to be in that sort of orientation. However, I haven't installed it like that on my pond at the minute, and it seems we're getting a really accurate reading. I've bought these to go along with it. So that's a quarter of an inch BSP thread on one end, um, and a quarter of an inch um, push fit pipe fitting on that one. So these parts I got off eBay, really easy to find. Um, if you comment on the video, I'll, I'll I'll reply the same way you can get them from if you are struggling to find them. And literally all you need is a bit of thread tape. Put a bit of thread tape around the threads there. Fit the fitting on and then simply push the pipe in. And remember when you're pushing the pipe in, put a, put a mark on the pipe so you can see how far it's gone in. Because sometimes it is quite deceiving when you're pushing the, the pipe into the fitting. And obviously it's got to connect onto that right at the back there where the washer is. You've got to make sure it's inserted fully, otherwise you will get leaks, so it might become loose over time. Okay. And the other good tip for this is one of these, pipe cutter. So if you cut pipe with scissors or a knife or whatever, sometimes you get a, a bit of an angled edge, and that doesn't help with the seal. Uh, with these, you locate the pipe at the bottom there, and when the blade comes down with it being flat, you get a perfectly flat cut. Okay, so I'd recommend Buying a pair of them screw fix, I would imagine will sell them uh, really cheap, but make a big difference when fitting things uh, properly and trying to reduce uh, leaks. Okay, so I'll take you outside now. We'll see how the ones run outside. So this is the unit running in my uh, insulation box or waterproof box. You see there on my pond gear. Safely took the wheel away from the elements. As you can see there, the floor meter's reading. 0.35 litres a minute, which is absolutely perfect. It's where I want to be. You can see the little indicator there, just showing that it is getting some flow. Uh, the wire comes out the bottom of the box, goes up, and there you can see the actual meter unit there. I've just put a bit, I don't know, it's a little bit of a crappy job there. Uh, just covered up with some electricity tape just to get things away. You can see the two fittings on either side. I've also put around some round around the connector as well, just to give it a bit of uh, protection from the elements. I'll do a better job of that later. Uh, what I might do is I might actually install this within the housing, but I'm just waiting for some more pipe to come so I can get up to the, the bio chamber where it's feeding into. And then that just goes straight in there. Again, these are all their uh, tap fittings. You can get off eBay. Definitely recommend getting the smaller fittings because it enables you to control the flow better. Um, and there's also an isolation valve there. With another one of the fittings again. That fitting there is a quarter inch to a three quarter. And that, I think it's just an appliance uh, fitting from Screwfix with a three quarter on one end. 
and a push fit 15 mil on the other and you can see there I've got the uh, insulation pipe ready to go I need to get all this uh, prepared for the winter and make sure I get no frost uh, freezing the pipes up and stopping the trickle in or potentially bursting the, uh, the fittings so just to go back to this the easiest way to check that this is reading right is simply just use a jug okay uh, milliliters there set your stopwatch so what I've done for this one was I set the stopwatch uh, run it for about 30 seconds um, and I got about 150 mil ish um, and obviously that relates over a minute to about 0.3 300 mil and obviously that's what that's reading so I'm really comfortable that that's working really accurately so before I had a standard water meter what you'd find on a general house supply and um, that's great for topping up ponds but the ain't so good for trickle in trickle out it's literally going so slow uh, it'll not get a reading so I'll quickly uh, I'll quickly show you that as you can see there yes the, the wally installed it upside down but you can see uh, that's just not really registering anything at all so I definitely don't recommend buying them okay that's the end of the video if you've got any questions fire them down in the comment section otherwise look out for some more of my videos cheers